Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife video for you. Today we're going to have my first impressions of this knife, the Spyderco Pison. Get the price out of the way right off the bat. This is the top of the line Spyderco, $520 for this knife. What you're getting though is pretty impressive. It is a full titanium integral folder with S90V blade designed by Peter Rizzenti. Not the first time Spyderco has done something like this. The Nirvana was out a couple years ago. They actually just discontinued that. I, I ha actually happen to have one here at this moment, so we will do a little comparison uh, between the two towards the end of this video. Um, a lot of changes made since the, the old Nirvana. A lot of improvements. I, I think I definitely prefer this to the Nirvana, having uh, had both for a little bit. I do want to thank uh, my buddy Nick Shabazz for loaning this to me. Uh, it is, uh, I don't know which one of them it is. He got two of them. Yeah, he got one from Spider Co. and one he purchased. I'm not sure which one this is, uh, but uh, it is uh, very nice. Thanks a lot for loaning it to me. As I'm saying that, it is a loaner. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full-on review of this. I'm definitely going to do a comparison between this and the Anthem, which you'll see here in a moment, the Benchmade Anthem, but um, another production titanium uh, integral, uh, which is somewhat similarly priced, a little bit less, uh, about 90 bucks less, but still uh, both quite pricey. Uh, but yeah, overall, man, this thing looks good. Uh, I will say, uh, pictures don't do it justice. It is, it is a pretty, pretty, pretty thing. Uh, let me just wipe the blade off here so I can show it a little bit better because it is very mirrory. You can see my, yeah, you can see the, my camera setup and the Ferrari flag and all that stuff. It's, it's a very, very well finished blade and S90V, not easy to get this amount of polish on at all. I know in uh, Dr. Frankie's video about this, uh, he said that Peter Rizenti himself in the customs uh, won't do it, uh, won't won't try and put a polish like this on an S90V blade. Spider Co. did. That's that's quite a feat, I do have to say. Uh, all the milling and stuff is just so well done. I mean, yeah, it's five hundred thirty dollars, but uh, I've had I've had twenty five hundred dollar customs pass through my hands that um, weren't weren't significantly better uh so that's pretty darn impressive i do have to say i love the way they did the lanyard hole on it they did it you know just to i mean i can't imagine many people are gonna put lanyards on this knife but if you do uh yeah it's on there all the jimping is well done the only thing looks wise that i just think doesn't fit just looks wise it's i mean this pocket clip works fine but man just looks wise it's kind of a record scratch, you know, like, eh, like I just, it just seems like this should have a titanium milled pocket clip, you know, which I'm not always uh, the biggest fan of those, but a knife this expensive, it is a nice little touch. I do know some aftermarket companies are already making them specifically designed for the Paisan. I think I saw AJ Purvis was doing some, those are not going to be inexpensive, I imagine, but uh, I think I saw at least a prototype on his Instagram, but uh, very, very cool. Another option would be and I may make this swap myself because I'm going to carry this as much as I can while I have it. I think this Casey Lynch uh, PM2 clip would actually work pretty darn well. I'm sure I will talk about that more later when we get to the ergonomics and the carry and stuff. But uh, yeah, I just I do really like the looks of it. It's much more impressive in person than it is in photos. Let's do some uh, specs and size comparison. This is a big knife have an overall length 8.74 inches, blade length of 3.9 inches, blade thickness uh, 0.16 according to my measurements, and uh, handle thickness of 0.47 inches, and a weight of 4.4 ounces, which is not bad at all for a knife this size and full titanium integral. That's actually lighter than I was expecting it to be. Uh, it is not bad at all. Balance is also pretty good. I mean, just a little bit blade heavy, but not much at all. Let's do some size comparisons. Uh, we will first start off with some of our standards here. We have against your Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I'm going to line up by the tips on this one, I guess. So, uh, yeah, it's a big knife. Uh, bring out. Let's just bring out another Spyderco while we're here, since I happen to have it out. Your Spyderco Capara. Again, yeah, bigger than both of those by a significant margin. Uh, a couple of other, well, one other uh, fairly large knife. I'll bring out the Ontario Rat Model 1. Yeah, it's even bigger than that. And the Model 1 is uh, a pretty big knife. If any, I like to use it for size comparisons because a lot of us have them. 
and compared to your Benchmade Anthem that I said I'm going to do a comparison with because they're both uh, integrals, but as far as size goes, not really much of a comparison there. Uh, it kind of dwarfs the Anthem. It, 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 it very much dwarfs the Anthem. It is a much, much larger knife. And lastly, like I said, we will talk about it more at the end here, but the Spyderco Nirvana. Um, this is... Uh, another loner that I got. This is not mine either. Very similar in size to the old Nirvana. So if this is kind of Peter Rizzanti likes big knives, it's maybe just a hair longer than the Nirvana, but not much. All right, uh, let's get into more about this knife. Uh, as far as the blade goes, um, I've only had this for uh, several hours now, so uh, I haven't done a whole lot of cutting with it. Um, S90V steel, can't complain there at any price. S90V is a very good steel. It is kind of a sheep's footy sort of style blade. Um, I do like that. Fairly thick blade stock, as I said, I think on the stats they claim 0 0.15. Uh, I got much rounding up. It was like 0 0.157 or something like that. Closer to 0 0.16 in my mind. Uh, the only real disappointing thing about it is it's, it's pretty thick behind the edge. It is about 28 thousandths behind the edge. Um, yeah, that's, that's a little thick. Uh, it is definitely not a slicing machine. And being a sheep's foot, it's it's not going to be uh, the most amazing piercer, but it'll probably be you know pretty fine or pretty good. I mean, I, obviously, you're not going to break that tip. Look at that sucker. Yeah, I just wish the grind was a bit different. Um, this S90V, it's going to hold an edge forever in a day, and it looks pretty. Um, yeah, and I don't know how much people are really going to be hard using these. I mean, I think I think it's built with the intent that people will do that, but. Uh, it's a $530 knife. I'm not sure how many people are really going to be beating on them. Uh, some people will, I'm sure. But uh, it's it's good for that. If you're going to use it for heavy-duty use, it, it's a it's a good blade for that. But it ain't going to uh, set the world on fire as far as slicing goes. Ergonomics, uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I saw, you know, some people didn't think the ergonomics were that great. It fits my hand really well. It does. I can understand why some people have a problem with this kind of, you can see, this kind of, half choil I'm not quite sure what what you would call that and that's where my hand wants to land i have skinny fingers large size gloves skinny fingers and and it still fits it fits me fine um the jimping is in the right place i can lock up like that just fine and it, and it works really well but i think if you have fat fingers you might you know notice that little hump there it probably wouldn't have been a bad idea if they just continued that you know just didn't bother with that uh but it works fine for my skinny little fingers, but we'll see how it works for, for other people. Uh, but all the other grips are really good. You can feel this pocket clip, though. Definitely, it's not in hot spot territory, but you can definitely feel it. I just don't I just don't think it needs to be that long. Um, yeah, but you, you, I definitely notice it. But ergonomics, pretty good. I'm not going to say they're amazing. They're, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, better than okay, but not, not great. Uh, as far as the carry goes, bring out a yield Wranglers here. Got the, it slides in and out great. The the pocket clip tension is great. You do have a fair amount sticking out. I'm not going to beat up too much in that. I normally do. Um, it's I wish it, it it went a little bit deeper, but it's not it's not horrible. But there's no flipper tab, so it definitely. You know, it's pretty easy to get your hand past for such a big knife. It, it's it's great, you know, it's, it's for a pocket carry, for a, for such a large knife. Again, I wish the pocket clip was a bit deep carry. Um, I am probably going to try out the uh, the loop over clip from Casey Lynch. As I said, this is a standard Spyderco pattern, so it, it should mount up fine. Uh, it's a little shorter. I'm more interested in this particular case in the making it a bit shorter than I am in the deep carry. Uh, but I'm going to try it out and see how that goes and see how that works if nick says it's okay i asked him but i'm i'm, I'm sure he probably will uh yeah but it, it carries pretty good action wise uh this is something you hear a whole lot about on the internet and i am going to uh, address this because uh the paisan is fairly new and it's created a bit of controversy can you shake it out yeah absolutely you can it's a huge blade it's a thick blade that's not really surprising and it is does not have a flipper tab so it's designed for Spidey flicking, thumb flicking, that kind of stuff. The detent is is perfect for that. Snaps right out, works really well. Uh, if it was a flipper, I would probably like the detent to be a bit stiffer. Um, maybe even now, I wouldn't mind if it was it's skosh stiffer, uh, but it's it's fine. Uh, the only problem is with an integral, 
hey, you can't, you can't adjust it. Uh, best thing about the Paizan and difference uh, to the Nirvana is it does have an integrated, you know, uh, uh, stainless steel insert and over travel stop, which is very nice. You don't have to worry about it bending out because, you know, you can't fix that on an integral. If it goes bad, the you're kind of hosed. Um, yeah, that's very nice. Uh, no lock stick at all. It works really well. And the bearings, very smooth. It's just very smooth. But you can hear, you know, you don't have that last little bit of detent, like, suck in. Not, not quite as authoritative as you do on some other stuff like, uh, oh, what do I have here? This does it. This is a wee malice. You know, you get that that last little clink. You don't really get that on their Nirvana. I mean, on the Paizan. I'm sorry. I don't know how many times I've screwed that up in the course of this video, but I'll find out when we when we upload it. I'm sure you guys will all count up and tell me how many times I said Nirvana instead of Paizan. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I th I, the action on it is really really good. I'm not too bothered by that weak detent. Um, uh, there have been a few people pop up complaints about. Uh, the uh, lock failing with a bit of back pressure after some use. I don't know how much uh, Nick has flipped this one around. I flipped it around a lot today just to try and see, you know, just trying to break it in as much as I can. Some people said like, like after 100, 200 flips, I've definitely probably had that many on it already just myself. And I don't know how many Nick had before. And this one is still locked up tight as a drum. You know, it's not, it ain't going anywhere. So um, I, this one is fine, but I have heard people complain about that, so I'm just bringing it up uh, just so that people think I'm not like ignoring the issue. I did try it on this one, and it's been it's been totally fine. Um, yeah, I think the action on it's pretty good. Yeah, the detent could be a bit harder, but I don't know if that 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 might affect it more. It's when you're just doing the spidey flick and the thumb flick, you got to make the detent a bit weaker. That's just how life goes. Now let's uh, compare it very quickly because I already kind of accidentally covered most of it with the Nirvana. Uh, I like it much more than their Nirvana. Uh, not only that, that the Nirvana, ooh, geez, just banging, banging expensive knives together. Is everybody okay? Expensive knives that aren't mine, banging them together. Yep, everybody's all right. Sorry, sorry, Nick and guy who won me Nirvana. Um, yeah, it's. I definitely you know the in, the inclusion of the travel stop and the Insta is 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 outstanding. Uh, but it's not just that I like more. Um, maybe the ergos on their Nirvana are a bit better, but other than that, I like everything else better about, you know, about the Paisan. Um, yeah, blade, I guess I'd put kind of even, but this is so much easier to flick. Um, yeah, you'd like, when you want a spidey flick, the Nirvana, the hole's half hidden, so you gotta really get your finger in there. Again, I have skinny fingers, so it's no problem for me, but I could totally see why it, it would be a problem for other people. Um... This, by the way, uh, does have an Apostle P edge on it, which is, a, this is the first time I've seen one of those in person. Holy crap. I can see why people pay him to sharpen their knives. Uh, yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, this is an aftermarket edge. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So every, not everyone thinks that every Nirvana is going to look that gorgeous. Um, definitely like the looks of the Paisan a whole lot more. I was never a fan of this 80s techno. You know, looks like the backdrop of a, you know, late 80s, early 90s yearbook photo is just kind of what it reminds me of when you went to Sears and they had the little laser lights behind you. Um, yeah, and I like the finish on this blade better. It looks, it just blows it away. And action, they're, they're, they're pretty even as far as the action goes. Uh, yeah, the only thing I'd say about the Nirvana is maybe I like the Ergos a bit better. But you can see the Nirvana also used a clip like that. It, it's not like a new thing for Spyderco to do that on their Resenti knives. Um, yeah, that's, that's honestly my first impressions. That's, that's the only real problem I have with this is just the clip. And that may just be a, a brain thing, but I don't know. I just think a $520 knife should have a nicer clip than the $100 knives do. That, that's just me. Um, again, I'm not sure I'd want a full deep carry, but I think a milled pocket clip would be really nice on this. And like I said, other people are going to be making them, but it's going to be expensive. I mean, I don't know what what AJ Purvis is going to charge for his, but I would not be surprised if you're adding another 140, 150 bucks to the price of the knife. I wouldn't be shocked at all. Maybe they'll be cheaper than that. Maybe they'll be more. I don't know. Uh, but I, I just wish it had a, a nicer pocket clip on it. 
um, just nicer looking. Maybe not necessarily nicer functionally, except for that I would like it to be shorter, but at least nicer looking. Uh, but and the detent thing doesn't bother me, but I know it's going to bother some people. Um, but I've you know talked to several people who have these, and if you watch other reviewers who've already reviewed this because it's not brand new, uh, I think most of us all pretty much agree that it's it's, it's about what it, the detent is. Yeah, you can shake it out, but that's probably what it's going to be. As long as you don't live in a place where that is, uh, you're going to get arrested for having a gravity knife. Don't worry about it. It's not unsafe. It's completely safe. It's not like a super loosey goosey detent. It's fine. Uh, the lockup issue. This one doesn't have it. I just have to go by the example that I have, but I have heard that that some do um, enough that I believe that it, it it is a problem on a few of them. So, but you know, send it back to Spider Co. They'll they'll probably take care of it. So that is my conclusion. Pretty cool. Five hundred twenty bucks. Is that is it worth it to you? I, I I think it's definitely like I said. It's as nice as infinitely more custom or more expensive custom knives I've handled. It's it's just as nice as the, you know, $1,500, $2,500 knives that I've handled. So yeah, I, I think, I think it probably is, but I totally understand if someone says no, no production knife is worth that. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, that's, that's your opinion. That's fine. But I really like this. I'm again, thanks Nick for letting me, uh, let me play with it for a while. I'm going to have it for a little bit longer. I'm going to do a comparison with the Benchmade Anthem. Probably not going to have it long enough to do a full on, you know, review. Definitely not in the long enough for a long term, but I guess for our first impressions, this video has gotten pretty long. So maybe this is all I need to do. But no, I'm definitely going to do the, com the comparison with the Anthem, even though the sizes are hugely different. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.